Are there going to be new summons coming to the game? Can I pronounce their names properly? And will Cyrus ever upload consistently? Find out today on Amvu News. Welcome back everybody to another Amber Report. Hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you for stopping by. This week on Naruto Online, CN has released a new summon. And because I'm bad and I forgot to cover this, there's actually quite a lot of stuff to mention, such as there is a new class of summons. So if we take a look at the current summons right now, we have four, three different classes. There's like a kind of sub genre in here. But basically you have the blue tier, you have like the uncommon slash epic tier which is the purple ones and then of course you have the legendary tier here and then we also have a few like pseudo mythic ones which are even rarer than the legendary legendary like king of hell kieran and maybe like uh who is it like guys tortoise these are like more rare ones but they're still considered in the legendary tier here However, about three months ago, and I forgot to cover this, they actually added a new tier to see in, and that is the Red Mythic tier. So since I didn't actually talk about that one, I thought it would be nice to cover it today because there is actually a second Red Summon that is coming out, and so I thought it would be appropriate to first cover the first one. So this is from three months ago. There is a new summon called Gamma Hero, and unlike previous summons. This summon will chase three types of combos, so he will actually chase low float, high float, and knockdown, and all three of them will cause repulse and can be triggered two times per round. So unlike these yellow summons down here, which only chase a specific type, for example the Rhino, he only chases knockdown, he will always cause repulse. But with the new summons, they will be able to chase three types, which means that you can build better combos. Maybe it's not always a good thing because maybe you don't want some of them to be chased. But it does give some more variety and options to choose when you're building your team combos. Now, of course, along with it being red, it actually has its own mystery summon, just like the Monkey King, just like Shiba and Giant Katsuya. And so at level 2, the summon mystery for Gamma Hero is actually it will deal unavoidable damage, 10 combo, and suppress armor until the end of the round to a random unit in the opponent's lineup. Additionally, it will also deal 50% splash in units 1 grid away, and it has 0 battlefield cooldown and 3 round cooldown. And so going off of that, we have our second mythic tier summon that was actually released this week. And it is this spider. So you can see this is the new red summon, Kyo Daigumo. Kyo, Kyo Daigumo. Close enough. <laughs> um, and fun fact, as Eugene states, it is actually Kyo Daigumo is a she, so please be gentle with her. So just like what we discussed earlier, she has three chase follow-ups. So she will chase low float, high float, or repulse, and all three will cause knockdown, can be triggered twice per round. And then along with that, she will have a summon mysteries, which at level two will cause unavoidable damage to combo up to four units in the opponent's lineup. And then when the units are hit by this ability, they will have their initiative locked at 97% of their base initiative stat until the end of the next round or until that unit executes a mystery. Honestly, this is quite a confusing effect for me. It feels extremely underpowered. Personally, I feel like it's not really that strong just because at 97% base initiative, you're only losing 3% initiative. We've seen a lot of skills that decrease way more than 3%. Not to mention that you can clear just by using a mystery. Granted, it is still going to be somewhat effective, but it really doesn't feel like that big of a difference. But I could be wrong, so let me know in the comments if you guys think that it's actually a really strong <laughs> summon mystery ability. Now outside of the mysteries, we actually have some unofficial leaks that look pretty interesting so I thought I would talk about them. So in the leaks we've actually seen some really cool things like Hashirama having a lobby animation. I believe this is Hashirama's final battle, it's not a new Hashirama. But he's kind of got his wood growth, I want to say dragon, but it doesn't quite look like a dragon and just showcasing his abilities. And then along with that, looks like we're going to get some sort of swimsuit Gara. 
as he is running around with a Shikaku floaty. And then, of course, the question that everyone has been waiting for, will I ever upload consistently? I hope to do so soon. This is a good start, um, but as all great YouTubers, I must keep an inconsistent schedule to keep my viewers guessing. No, I'm just kidding. I, I will actually try to work on that. But anyways, this week's Ambo report is a little bit shorter just because they only released a single summit in CN and there weren't any other big changes. But as usual, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys come back next Wednesday to check up on the next Ambo report and I will see you guys later. Peace out.